here. Andy from Blue Collar Corner. I'm here with one of our finest, Troy. Troy, what brings it down to uh, today's demonstration? Uh, about protesting the mosque being built near Ground Zero. Okay, now we're in Brooklyn now. They had the demonstration last week over at the actual Ground Zero. What do you think? Of, what do you think is the difference between today's demonstration and the one downtown at Ground Zero? Well, I wasn't, unfortunately, I wasn't there last week, but I just hope that this movement continues to protest that and get the word out to people to, to stop this from happening down at Ground Zero. It's, a, it's terrible. It's a disgrace. should never happen. Now, you were there, correct? Yes, I was there on that day. How many, how many good buddies, coworkers, friends, family, loved ones did you lose? We lost 23 of our own. There was only one that worked in my precinct. I didn't know him, but he did previously work in my precinct before I had gotten there. But there was numerous people that you knew, friends and relatives of, that perished that day or were in harm's way, at least. And, you know, everybody has forgotten about those victims and forgotten about, you know, what happened that day. Never forget. Troy, are you from Brooklyn? Yes. Right here. So am I. What the hell do you think they're doing while putting up this mosque? What kind of sign is this? My brother basically recently found out about the Cordoba house. I don't know if you've heard about that. Basically, they say that that's, I, I don't know if it's true, but I did read it, that it says that when they basically take over a place, they put a mosque somewhere very close to the vicinity of where the attack took place, and it was called the Cordoba Institute or Cordoba Initiative. Initiative. And that's what it seems like it is right now. I mean, what else is the sense of putting it right there? But the one thing I did learn that, and I don't know if, I don't really believe in coincidences, but... They purchased that property, you know when? In 1989, four years before the first attack. Now, I was working the first attack as well. I didn't, they didn't send us down there. Some of my buddies did go down there after the attack. But what I'm saying is, I don't know, it took four years for them. They buy a spot, they attack four years later. Then they had to regroup and do it all over again on a bigger scale. It took them a little bit longer. It's like good military recon. Yeah. I mean, these people are very manipulative. I'm not going to say it's all of them, but... It is what it is. Well, so now it seems they're not just going with bombs and, and uh, you know, physical attacks. They're hiding behind media. Yes. They're hiding behind uh, politicians yes. who are too much of a coward to come out against them. We, you know, they, it's very easy for us to slam Jews and to slam Christians, but it seems like when it comes to Muslim anything, we're walking on eggshells, and they never get the full brunt of anything. Very true. Like Catholicism, like you just brought up, is the most abused religion. Some, some of it's deserved, I guess, in a certain way with the scandals and stuff. But you can't say anything. Look, look, at, look at, they do a cartoon. There's riots. But then they behead Daniel Pearl, and there's nothing. Nothing. Just a really disgusting Pearl? video. Yeah. I mean, they riot in the streets over one thing, but they kill people at will, take them hostage, put them with a thing over their head, tell them to say something, then they cut their heads off. I don't know. The difference is, is, is tremendous. You know, I don't understand. And nobody condemns them. The White House can't even say the words. It's horrible. And then the Muslims. That's the biggest thing, I think. And I think I don't want to give them a little uh, heads up on how to do things, but when you don't see none of them condemn it, I think that says a lot. When you don't hear them talk and you don't hear them say anything. I don't know. When you stay silent, I, that old saying, silence is golden, well... It's also very telling, too. Right. Listen, they just, uh, they're messing with Brooklyn guys now. I, th I think the whole dynamic's going to change. Troy, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Absolutely, guys.